Hey there, and welcome once again to Diaries of a Board Game YouTuber, this time for Monday the 23rd of January 2017. So, let's start with the week in review. What did I get done with this week? Well, I spent a lot of the week actually reaching out to publishers again, trying to get promo cards for the Kickstarter. So I've had a bit of success with this, and I've been doing other bits trying to get ready for the Kickstarter, such as going through my collection of games and going, hmm... I've got a lot of games here. I don't play many of your games because I'm always playing new games. I should do a clear out. And so I'm going to be getting rid of a load of games. I haven't quite decided how I'm going to do it. I'm thinking giveaway. I had always intended to do a big giveaway. But it's how I integrate that to the Kickstarter because it can't be done as part of the Kickstarter. But maybe can be used to drive traffic to the Kickstarter. So there's that possibility. Um, but I've gone through. There are around 50 games. Um, some retail, some prototypes uh, that I will be parting with. Um, I need to sort out exactly, you know, am I going to try and sell them, etc. But yeah, so that's a hopefully something to excite you all there. Um, so video wise though, I did do the next Review Wars video. This was for the best racing game. So do check out the nominations for that and see if you think you agree and be sure to vote on which one of the nominations you think is the best so it can win the title of best racing game for Review Wars. Then the big videos of the week were Tyrants of the Underdark. And I say big videos, I thought they would be big videos. This is uh, what I thought was a big release from last year, very popular, I've really enjoyed it. Um, if you don't know what it is, it's deck building and area control. So you've got the typical deck building thing of buying cards, putting them in your deck, but as well as using cards to buy cards, you're also using your cards to place units out on the board to control areas in order to get victory points. It's a really good game, um, so do check out the videos if you want to know more on that. Um, as I say, I'm kind of surprised. I was expecting them to perform a lot better than they have. So that's very much a shame, um, but in posting on social media about the videos, I've actually had a few um, retailers comment that because of the art, the drabness of it all, they're having tr tr trouble selling it. And so maybe that's the same issue with the videos, that the videos people just aren't drawn in because ugh, it looks awful type thing. But oh well. Uh, what else is there to talk about? Well, sort of a new arrival. This pile here of card boxes is promo cards for the Kickstarter. So as I said, I have been working hard on that. Um, so the first lot have arrived. And, oh, do I reveal them? No. <laughs> we'll leave it as uh, nearer the time we'll be doing teasers about what all the promo cards will be, except to try and build up a bit of hype. But yeah, that's uh, gonna be coming on the 28th of February. So it's all scheduled in. I've just got to actually get it all finished and it's, oh, I have no idea what I'm doing with it. But hopefully, you know, I'll get some support and it will work out. Obviously, you know, some publishers are giving me support, but um, the ones who are, I'm really, really thankful for. You, you guys are amazing. I've got some who are going to be sending me games. I've got some sending me promo cards. And then there's a lot who aren't responding, aren't being very helpful at all. But, I mean, that's the way of the world, isn't it? And it's, the good thing is there are people out there who believe in what I'm doing and are supporting what I'm doing, even if it's within the industry, let alone the public. So let's move on to the figures. I'm yabbering enough about that. So Facebook, one whole year, 52 weeks, we've had the Facebook page, 2,258 likes. So that's a bigger increase than last week. Um, it's not huge. It's nice though i'm really pleased with that thank you to if you're watching this and you're a new liker thank you for doing that if you haven't yet why not <laughs> it's not going to cost you anything much uh well it's not going to cost you anything really so twitter 55 weeks on twitter and 9583 followers so again not a huge leap but a nice increase and a bigger increase than last week so that's good to see and YouTube, we're at 57 weeks the channel's now been going. So yeah, we're past that year mark and we're just kind of settling in a bit. And there's some weird things going on, but I'll come to that in a second. Subs, 3,572, so again, a bigger increase, that's good to see. Now, the views were actually down on last week, sort of. Because we're at 150,000 views, 725. 
that's what they, um, YouTube is showing me. That's what the YouTube homepage is telling me I have as views. When I go to analytical outside analytical tools, that's what it's telling me I have as views. When I go to the analytics tool within YouTube, rather than seeing nearly 10,000, I'm seeing like 6,000 views for the last week. And that's the same situation I had last week, although it was 16,000 compared to 6,000. But again, it's 6,000 I can see in the analytics. So this is very much confusing for me. Um, I don't know what's going on, frankly. Um, hopefully it'll rectify soon. But yeah, that uh, 6K, the top contributors to that are Subterra videos still are doing very well. If you can hear the cat noise, I'm really sorry. <laughs> um, she's batting something around the kitchen. So yeah, the Subterra videos are doing well and the Kickstarter is doing fantastically well. So congratulations to Peter at Inside the Box and also to um, the designer and everyone who's worked on that game, the illustrator and everything, it, it's being a great success. Um, so well done to them. And I'd also actually like to say well done to Ember, which is one I've backed. Um, and I backed the, well, no, I didn't back the original Kickstarter. I backed the second expansion. This is the third expansion, should be the final one. Um, and that's blown out of proportion, over a thousand percent funded. So yeah, if you're interested in beautiful artwork and cards and stuff, uh, check out Ember. Um, you can check out my review anyway, the main game. But yeah, so that's been doing well. And then the other one still doing well is the top 10 of 2016, uh, which Tyrants of the Undark would have made. I will give you that now. So um, that's probably enough of my ramblings for another week. Uh, do thank you for watching, do the whole subscribing, etc. And as always, uh, I can't remember my sign off. <gasps> How terrible. Okay. Bye. Oh, I remembered. Thanks for watching and bye for now.